welcome. Today we are going to talk about vaginal infections, specifically we are going to discuss trichomoniasis. And if this is the first time you are watching Bright Medical Lectures, I will encourage you to kindly subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos. Now, trichomoniasis is an infection which is caused by the organism Trichomonas vaginalis, which is a unicellular anaerobic flagellated protozoan that can cause vaginitis. Now, this Trichomonas vaginalis inhabits the lower genitourinary tract of women and men. However, this infection is much more common in women than in men, and it is considered the most common sexually transmitted infection. It is transmitted sexually. Now, when we look at uh, how it presents, or the kind of symptoms that women will present, we find out that about 70% of the cases are asymptomatic, meaning these women do not show any symptoms of the infections, yet they carry the organism. And this is why they are able to transmit it to their partners. Now, when they begin to exhibit or manifest the signs and symptoms of uh, these uh, infections, the vagina discharge, which comes out, is usually profuse and unpleasant. The color is usually yellowish gray or even green, and it looks frotty in appearance. The women usually complain of acute irritation and inflammation of the vulva and the vagina, and they always say they have some burning sensation and pruritus or itchiness of the area. They also complain of frequency or increase in the number of maturation at a time, and also they have pain during uh, urination or dysuria, and during sexual intercourse they complain of pain, which is dyspareunia. Now, on vagina inspection, we find that the vulva is edematous and there is a redness of the area. And so we find this erythematous and a punctate epithelial uh, papillae of the cervix with its characteristic strawberry appearance. And so in an exam, so when you read the question and says on vagina examination, a, a, a punctate epithelia uh, was found, which looked like strawberry in appearance, then it tells you that we are talking about trichomoniasis, or we are talking about uh, trichomona vaginalis. Now, this uh, trichomoniasis uh, has a vagina pH of uh, 6 to 7, and so the vagina uh, pH is usually on the high uh, in, in, uh, alkaline in nature. Then we find that the symptoms of trichomoniasis usually get worse immediately after uh, menstruation. This is because of the transient increase in the vagina pH during uh, this time. And so when we look at the uh, diagram on the right, we find the pointed appearance of the cervix, which looks like strawberry, as you can see in this photo on the right. Then when we look at this diagram also, we see the frotty nature or the frotty appearance of the vagina discharge, which we see. So it looks like yellowish green or gray in color. So these are all secretions coming from the cervix of someone who is having trichomoniasis. Now, how do we diagnose it? Uh, basically, we use uh, set, uh, saline wet preparation uh, of the vagina swab and so we uh, add saline to the vagina uh, swab then we examine this uh, under the microscope and under the microscope what we find is that there is an undulating membrane of an organism having about three to five flagella which helps it to propel or, or which helps it to move from one place to the other and uh, we can also use culture to isolate uh, the trichomonas vaginalis and culture is uh, the most accurate diagnostic test for the isolation of uh, trichomonas vaginalis because it is uh, the most sensitive and specific for this uh, infection. Now, when we take the vagina swab to isolate trichomonas vaginalis, we must also uh, try to look for Neisseria gonorrhea since we said usually most of these women have a concomitant uh, gonorrhea infection. 
Now, when we look at the diagram on the right, it is uh, depicting uh, the organism, the Trichomonas uh, vaginalis. Uh, it has this undulating uh, surface. Then you can see the flagella at the ends of it, which helps it to, you know, to propel or which helps it to move from one place to the other when we look at it under the microscope. Now, how do we treat trichomoniasis infection? We give oral metronidazole usually for a period of 10 days, and we must make sure that we avoid uh, giving metronidazole in early pregnancy since there are still some concerns regarding its potential teratogenic effects. And so we must be very careful when we administer metronidazole to the pregnant woman, especially in the first trimester. Then we can also uh, give tenidazole as uh, an alternative regimen in a single dose to these uh, women. Now, penetrating vaginal pastries can also uh, be given and it will ease the discomforts uh, in uh, these women. Then we need to educate uh, these women to abstain from sex at least uh, until uh, seven days after the resolution uh, of the symptoms or after treatment. And we must also counsel and treat their partners since uh, we said they can infect their partners with this infection. So I think this is all that I have for you in this presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.